Rabbeinu Bechayi continues, V'oid me'ini nabi tochen she'im so'odom nafshe l'ashem izborach v'siyem machshavtu b'shetet d'stomit b'dover hazeh l'oiboim l'horge she'yave al atoye sh'yem moisa atzman ha'misa v'loyavoy. Says the Rabbeinu Bechayi in the Kadakemach that a person has to always have in mind this idea that if and had he had the opportunity, he would be moisa nefesh himself for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And he's going to go in a little bit in length here in expanding on this idea of Mesir Nefesh. But just to get a little bit of an understanding of what the, the Kadakemach is teaching us here, it is obvious that when a person has real bitachin HaKadosh Baruch Hu, of course he's going to be Moise Nefesh to give oh, give his life, to give Mamash to be, to Mamash to be willing to go and die al Kiddush Hashem. But the Kedah Kemach really takes us to another level. The Kedah Kemach is going to show us that when a person has real bitachin, what is real mysterious nefesh? Real mysterious nefesh is not just dying one time. Real mysterious nefesh is giving up all the things that I want constantly. In other words, I would want to maybe have wealth and I would want to maybe have all these different things. But because I have bitachin, because I entrust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu my life, I know that everything that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is doing is for my toiv and that his capabilities are not limited by anything and anyone. And therefore, I am moisim my nefesh, I am moisim my wishes to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that's not something that could only be done once. Other but that's something that could be done again and again and again. Says the Katakana, He brings the Lashem, where a person can take his nefesh and deliver it to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and carry it for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So he connects it that you see in this posuk right after the David HaMelech says, Nafshi Esau, I'll carry my nefesh for you. He says in the next posuk, So I see that this type of mysterious nefesh comes from the middle of Bitochen. Umilas Esau, what does the Esau tell us? Masois, as the Pasuk tells us, they carried Masois. Because that a person should sacrifice his nefesh within, within his machshava, within his thought process of all his wishes and all his wants, as a matona, as a mincha, as a korban tashem is barach. Because of course, had does it, if someone gets the opportunity and he finds himself in a matzav of mysterious nefesh mamash, of course he will do that. Then says the Kalakamach when David Amalek tells us, we would kill ourselves for you every day, all the time. How's that possible? They not How can you die more than once? Elamai says the Kalakamach David Amalek was referring to a different type of mysterious nefesh. Every moment in life that a person connects to the thought that it has that does it come to it, I would be willing to be my Senefesh for Kodesh Baruchu, and therefore I am willing to give up all my wishes for Kodesh Baruchu. For that, a person would be rewarded for every single moment that he connects to that machshava. Or the kach omar kol ayom. That's why David Amelach says, "Olecha oragn kol ayom ki yom azal inyan aschav agmol." In order, in in regards to of the, the reward that a person would get for doing that, he would get reward ki ilu nerag harbe pa'omim bechol yom. A person who connects to that machshava, I would be willing to be moisa nefesh for Kodesh Baruch Hu, and therefore I'm willing to give up all my wishes because I'm entrusting in Hakadosh Baruch Hu my entire life. He would get rewarded as if he's killed multiple times every single day for Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Chayin Omer Medesh Tehillim Marogam Doshum B'Shavu B'Shachar Kei Lafido Hayri Gisanu Lo Yanachnu Mekavim V'Lo Yanu Doishim V'Eilu Anachnu Meshach Mev B'Shavu B'Shachar Another pasuk where we see the connection of bitochen and mysterious nefesh.